Oh. We got him on the frog. Oh my gosh. That's the coolest catch of the day. The thing is a freaking tank. Hey, yo, folks. What's going on? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment day is popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below in this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Today, we are here at good old Zoomeron in Bass Pro Shops right there. So, for whatever reason, whenever there's a holiday, my birthday, anything like that, the number one gift people get me is a Bass Pro Shops gift card. So I've been kind of like collecting quite a few of them. And I think I have about $50 worth of Bass Pro Shops gift cards that I'm going to spend today here in Bass Pro Shops. And I wanted to take you guys along because I thought it'd be cool to show you guys what I would spend $50 on inside of Bass Pro Shops. And then we're going to go try to catch fish on what I buy here inside Bass Pro Shops today. I will also be giving away every single lure I buy today to one of you lucky subscribers. All you guys have to do to win this giveaway is be subscribed to the channel and also leave this video with a like. Two simple steps you guys are entered to win. I will announce the giveaway winner in like two to three videos. A lot of people have been asking how do you know if you won the giveaway or not. It's going to be pinned in the comment section two or three videos away from now. So whenever I announce a giveaway winner, it's going to be the top comment in the comment section. If there's not a comment there, I did not announce the giveaway winner, okay? So we got to go inside. I got to spend $50 at Bass Pro Shops, show you guys my favorite lures for this time of year, which is like end of summer, beginning of fall type deal. And I think it'll be super cool. And then we're going to go try to catch fish on whatever I buy. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, folks, we are here in the fishing section. I got to fill this uh, this crate up with $50 worth of fishing tackle. I already know what I'm going to get right off the bat. A great fishing lure for late summer and like all time in the fall that's also super fun to catch fish on is a topwater frog. So they got a huge selection of frogs here, but the way I choose my frogs, which is super simple, is I will normally go, if I can only fish with two, I will grab a white frog and then I will also grab, let's see, a black frog like this one right here. When I go shopping for topwater frogs, there's a lot to choose from and to keep it nice and simple, on an overcast day, I will always go with a black frog to start off, but make sure on the bottom of the frog, the frog is also black because bass can only see what's on the bottom of these frogs the fish can't see the top so whatever's on the top doesn't really matter it's what's on the bottom that counts and so i always make sure if i'm only buying two frogs to get one with a black on the bottom and then we have a white frog and this is what i will throw in the morning or the afternoon when there isn't a ton of clouds in the sky i will go with a white frog with a white bottom just like that so these are going to be our first two lures and i kind of went middle of the road here these frogs are 729 booyah pack crasher super good deal Hmm. So that's $15 right there. I think I know what else I want though. My favorite section right here, folks, the rattle traps. These are my absolute favorite bait of all time. Basically, when you're choosing out colors for these, you got, you got a lot of colors, but to keep it simple, I almost always go with gold. Gold is my all time favorite color. $7.59, not too bad. When you're choosing colors out for rattle traps, Gold, silver, and red are always like my three favorite colors, but whatever type of bait fish you have in your pond. So if you're ever fishing your pond, look for the bait fish. Sometimes you can see them swimming or they're on the bank. See what they look like, and then whatever they look like, try to replicate it as closely as you can. <laughs> oh, there we go. You guys know that I had to get a chatter donkey. Chatter baits, slay, absolutely massive fish. These are 819, but look at how much they are here at Bass Pro Shops for the jackhammer. $21.99, are you kidding me? So I can't buy one of the jackhammers because that splits like half of my $50 budget for one chatterbait. But what I am gonna get is one of the Z-Man chatterbaits right here. And honestly, I don't know what it is about this color that is just so beautiful. The gold blade, just an absolutely beautiful chatterbait right there for $8.19. So we got a chatter donkey. You guys know I love the chatter donkey, especially for like pond fishing where you have a ton of grass, the chatterbait, can't go wrong with it, but we do need some trailers to toss on there. There's, there's a ton of different options for trailers you can throw on a chatterbait, but I'm gonna show you guys my favorite right now. And I think I just walked past it. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I really like the uh, the Strike King Rage Swimmers as a trailer on here. My number one would be like the Biospawn Exoswim, but I don't think that they have them here in Bass Pro Shops. This would be like my second option. Let's see what color would look super good on the end. I like my chatter donkeys to be sexy, you know what I mean? I like them to match. I think we cannot go wrong with the old ghost shad color right here, 649 for these swim baits. That will look absolutely amazing. Let's line these up side by side here. Look at that, the chatter bait 
and these are gonna be the trailers for them. The Ghost Shad, super cool color, sparkly on the bottom, kind of plain on the top. Absolutely love those two colors together. That should slay. I gotta check the clearance section. They have like a little secret clearance section in the back of all Bass Pro Shops, if you guys did not know. Uh, and it looks like there's nothing here, so never mind. But I, you know, I always just have to check. But I think we're about halfway above our budget, if not a little bit more. The prices here at Bass Pro Shops, I don't wanna be too loud, they're a little much. I like shopping at like Walmart or, uh, or when I'm buying lures online, I use Shop Carl's. But this is like crazy. Let's get some soft plastics. We haven't done that yet. Oh, here we go. Green pumpkin. So this is like one of my favorite all-time colors for soft plastics. You can throw this in pretty much dirty water, clear water. They're gonna be able to see it either way. Super natural color here. Four, six, nine. We got a pack of speedworms. My all-time favorite soft plastic to throw. You can pretty much throw the speedworm. What I love about it is you can hop it on the bottom, fish it super, super slow. Finesse style, but also you can swim pretty fast. It has an action of like a paddle tail swim bait, so you can cover a ton of water. So whenever I'm fishing a new pond, I have that tied on because I can cover a ton of water when I'm walking to a new spot, but when there's a spot I want to slow down, try that more, then I will start hopping that speed worm. So that's one of my all-time favorite baits. We're gonna get uh, one more finesse bait for you guys here. And this is also one of my all-time favorites when I find a spot that I absolutely love and I want to work through it. So we're gonna go ahead and get a trick worm here. I'm trying to choose out my favorite color for you guys that should work wherever you're from. And I think we're gonna go with uh, the green pumpkin chartreuse tail. One more soft plastic I want you guys to try because I thought that lizards were silly before, but then I started throwing them. And they're one of my favorite soft plastics of all time. Catch a ton of fish, a ton of big fish. And we gotta go with the lemon pepper, just, you know, just for the meme. But toss the lemon pepper in there. And I think we're about at our budget we got some tungsten weights, 729 for weights. Just absolutely ridiculous. But we got four little 3 16 ounce weights. These little guys will work pretty much anywhere. I feel like that's like the perfect weight for pond fishing is a 3 16 ounce. It sinks uh, fast enough, but not too fast where you're getting stuck in all the weeds and stuff like that. So these guys, we're gonna add those in there. And now we need hooks. Hooks, 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 hooks. Oh, we're just balling out here with these gift cards. We're gonna go uh, with some trocar hooks. And I think we're gonna go with, what are these, 3 on Yeah, 3 on will definitely work for the soft plastics. We got the speed worm, the lizards. It only comes with six hooks for $6, it's a dollar a hook. Uh, but we're getting them. Boop. We are outside of Bass Pro Shops. I bought all my tackle and I, I was aiming for $50. And somehow, some way, it was uh, $65 here. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. The total was $65 and 26 cents, but I had a $10 and $50 uh, gift card. But I thought if anything, I was gonna be like in like the $40 range, but somehow I spent $65. Normally I shop at a, on Shop Carl's, Walmart, uh, stuff like that. Cause this is, a, this is a little pricey for what we got, but I had gift cards I had to spend anyways. So we're gonna show you guys what we got really quick. And then we're gonna go try to catch some fish on these cause I really do wanna catch some fish today. So we got the chatterbait, you guys remember that? Got the trailers that are gonna go on the chatterbaits, the Rage Swimmers in Ghost Shad color. We got the, the good old, pumpkin seed, speed worms. We got the lemon pepper lizards. We got a black booyah pack crasher. We got a green, or we got a white. <laughs> we got a white booyah pack crasher. We have a gold rattle trap. And then we also have trick worms. Oh, don't forget, don't forget, hooks and weights are in here as well. So whatever I don't use today fishing, I'm gonna send to one of you lucky subscribers. So make sure you guys are subscribed and leave this video a like and you are entered to win all this stuff I just went over. But we're gonna go catch some lunkers on some of my favorite lures of all time. So I'll see you guys when we get to the pond. All right, folks, we're here at the pond. I got the old white frog tied on, trimmed off the tails on both sides, leaving one end just slightly longer than the other side. And on this rod and reel, I have the gold rattle trap. I wanna throw around this frog so bad. I've just been itching for a top water bite uh, the whole entire drive here. So I'm gonna throw around this frog and see if we can't get munched out here on the frog. I don't think I've ever thrown a frog in this pond before, so we'll see how it goes. Oh! We got him on the frog. That's a better one too. It's a good fish right here. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the size of that fish. Heck yeah. Super, super skinny fish. Probably would have weighed like close to like three or four pounds if he wasn't uh, super skinny, but he's probably only like a two pounder or so. But look at that. Frog absolutely 
gonzo in there. He definitely wanted it. That was crazy. Heck yeah. <laughs> that is freaking cool, man, on the frog. Oh, I wish you would have ate dinner and breakfast, man. You would have been a really good fish if you weren't so skinny. First fish of the day right here. Heck yeah. Nothing is more exhilarating, folks, than throwing the topwater frog. Like, I highly recommend if you guys have not fished with a topwater frog yet to just go buy one and try it. Because when they hit that thing topwater, oh my gosh, it gets your heart racing. Whew. Cast that one. He should have been right there. That was like the perfect cast right in the shallow water, reeled it out. All right, we're going to fish the bigger side of the pond now. I put the frog down, picked up the old gold rattle trap. Last time I was here, actually, I was fishing with one of my subscribers, and he caught his biggest fish ever on a rattle trap, and it was five pounds. So I'm hoping we can uh, we can catch one of the big ones out here on the bigger side of the pond, but I'm just pumped I caught one on that frog. We walked all, I probably fished that frog for like 45 minutes, and uh, that one blow up was definitely worth it. So much fun, but uh, time to throw this rattle trap around, uh, see if they'll bite this. Oh, that was him, right here. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, well, that was the first bite on the uh, on the rattle trap here. That's a good sign. I was finishing up my cast. I was trying to walk to the other side of the pond here. Yeah, he bit it when I was least expecting it. So, cool. <laughs> cool, I guess. At least they're biting the rattle trap today. Oh, that's him. There we go, we're on. Something small, I think. I can't tell what that is. Is that a bat? There's no way this is a bass. Oh my gosh, is it? <laughs> You're kidding. Oh, I've not seen a bass that small out of here ever. Well, I was reeling this little guy in. I thought he was like a crompie or something like that, but uh, turns out he was a small, largemouth bass. Cool, though. Oh, that's him. <laughs> Even smaller. You're kidding. What? In like the same exact spot kind of as the other one. Jeez, they don't even feel like bass fighting. I feel like I got like a little bluegill on or something. Well, I guess I know where I need to go whenever I want to pet bass uh, for my fish tank. But, jeez. Still fun, but I know there's freaking monsters in here that'll eat the rattle trap. And yeah, there's been multiple double digits cut out of here, believe it or not, uh, in this little pond. Jeez, <laughs> I'm catching the little, uh, little squeaks. Oh, that was him. Oh, he's off. I no, he's on. He's on. He's just running at me, I think. I can't tell. Oh, <laughs> holy cow. Oh, my gosh. What well, would you look at that freaking Mondo? I mean, this thing is e like double the size of my hand. And like I said before, my hand is a double XL glove size. So, so if that at all tells you how big this freaking fish is, this is wild. Like, <laughs> and he goes all the way freaking inches up my wrist. See you, bub. Ow, I stand in the ant pile. One of the cool things about the rattle trap is that you can catch multi-species. So no matter when you're throwing it or where you're throwing it, you could end up catching a bass, a bluegill, a crappie, like anything will bite this thing. That's the fun part about it. Oh, that was him. That felt more like a bass hit. Can't tell though. Yeah, that's a bass right here. Oh my gosh. Why is it the two bigger bass I've had have come off right next to my feet? That is just crazy. Oh, that was him. We're on. There we go. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a little bit better of a bass, but uh, not by much. That's a little bit of an upgrade, but uh, but not by much. I know that there's double digits in here. I've seen pictures and I've seen firsthand some five and six has been caught out of here. So I'm looking for those guys, but I will take these guys in the meantime. Two bobbers. Make sure you clean up after yourself when you're fishing. That way people will let you come and fish your spots more. Keep a good name for, uh, for fishermen. If you ever see trash, just make sure to pick it up. Uh, keep our fisheries 
clean. That's very important uh, for the health of these fish to maintain our sport, to maintain, uh, you know, catching fish. We obviously we have such a great time doing it. Uh, I have such a great time catching fish that I want to make sure that we're picking up any trash around the ponds, keep them nice and healthy, and uh, have an enjoyable time out in the water. That is gonna do it for today's video. I'm like super sweaty, Florida heat's like 100 degrees outside, but I had a ton of fun fishing with the lures from Bass Pro Shops. Ended up spending $65, probably shouldn't have done that, but that means more for the giveaway for you guys. So just remember, if you're subscribed to the channel and you hit this video with a like, you're entered to win, and in like two or three videos, I will announce the giveaway winner. But folks, besides that, I had a great time catching uh, some bass today, some topwater bass, some rattletrap bass, and that massive bluegill. So much fun. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up as thundering and lightning out here and it doesn't look like it now but we got a storm coming from this way so better to be safe than sorry but until the next fishing adventure fish bump we're out of here